like gentle segment on GNTV Junior and on Glory TV as well. This show is proudly supported by FD Mobile. And with FD Mobile, you can watch TV anytime, anywhere. And if you're a school, a church, or a children's service, and you want to feature on our program, just call the number 055-137-6979. I am Sylvia Yaka. And today, we are going to discuss a very sensitive topic, and it is the role of children in maintaining peace in a community and wherever they find ourselves. As you know, I can't do the discussion alone. There's a very fine gentleman who is going to help me discuss this topic. Sir, please, you are welcome to this. Thank you. Thank you. Sir, please, can you tell us something brief about yourself? Yes, my name is uh, Daniel Ofori Apia. I'm a sergeant in the police service and uh, I'm a musician too. And I'm a founder and leader of Watch Your Tongue Initiative. Uh, and you know, I love to serve. So I, I can say I was born to serve. Uh, I hail from Achim Masi, where I grow. Uh, I like serving, so I'm still serving. Sir, please, when you say peace, uh, what is your understanding about peace? Yes, peace is about uh, living without problems. There are so many things that we can relate to peace. Maybe if you don't have food to eat, then you get food, we can say you have peace. When you are not sick, you can say you have peace. When there is no war, you say you can peace. Anything that makes you comfortable, you can relate it to peace. But is it necessary for children to play in peace ambassadors? Yes. Every human being needs to play a role in building, in peace building process and children are no exception. Children are also the stakeholders as far as life is concerned. Once they are part of life, children can also cause problems. There are some children who are being used to create problems within the community, to create problems within uh, the, the, the countries. So when children are trained to be peaceful, to have the mind of peace, to preach peace, to act peace and to write things about peace, it will help. Sir, please, in what way can children play in peace ambassador? Yes, that's why I'm saying that. You know, for children to play in peace building process, there should be some sort of education for all of us to understand peace. Children's role will be specified. You know, when it talks about children, children are classified as people who always speak the truth. So we should not expose children to lies, to deceptives. We should not expose children to statements, actions that can bring war. You know, so when we do that, we will be able to team the children minds to peace building process so that children will be able to think peacefully, they can act peacefully, and they can even write peacefully because now, a lot of children also use mobile phones. They go on social media network. They can put something there that can cause chaos, that can bring, that can bring a, some sort of uh, disunity. And all these things, when children are being taught, when the need for children to be involved in peace building process, children will also take up the task and also help. Sir, please, what are some of the actions that does not bring peace? Yes. For example, in your speech, when you speak against something, some, some tribe, some utterances against somebody's religion, some utterances against somebody's family, some actions that can cause fear and panic, you know, command the peace of the nation, some actions that can cause hatred and anger can ignite war and it can disturb the peace. You know, when people are put into fear and panic, or maybe they, even the environment, environment becomes so dirty, people fall sick here and there. When you, are, you don't have a good health, when you don't have good health, you don't have peace. So we must experience good health to also be peaceful. 
we must get food to eat so that we have peace. We must have, we have to enjoy the national cake. You know, there should be freedom to attend school, freedom to have access to our national assets. And all these things, when we do, it will bring peace. Sir, please, I learned you are embarking on a peace campaign. Yes. And I will tell you, the peace campaign I'm embarking on is called Watch Your Tank campaign. So, when you say watch your tank, you mean we should move our tank and watch Oh, that is so great. That is what I always said, that when I say watch your tongue, you don't have to remove your tongue and, uh, and watch. That would be dangerous. <laughs> but watch your tongue means you just have to be careful of what you say. We are preaching peace through our utterances, our actions, and our writings. But we are using four operational concepts. Four operational concepts to preach peace so that we can all live in unity. One is think right. The second one is speak right. The third one is act right. And the fourth one is write right. So watch your tongue is to be mindful of what you say so that you'll be able to think right, speak right, act right, and write right. That's right. So that is what you speak right. Think right, act right, and write right. Okay, I will take it from think right. Because anything you want to do, you have to think. You have to process your thought. There are so many ideas that may come to your mind. But all of them must not come out. You have to process, make good decisions for yourself, for, the, for, for people around you, and for the whole nation. So think right is education about the mind, how we can think well and do things right. When we talk of speak right, that is the way we can express ourselves using pleasant words, you know? It is said, freedom of speech is guaranteed, but freedom after speech cannot be guaranteed. When we say freedom of speech, we are telling you to speak to build, not to speak to destroy. People don't understand when we say freedom of speech. So most of them use freedom of speech as a vehicle to say bad things to destroy. No. When they say freedom of speech, they are giving you a positive mandate to speak, to build, to speak, to bring together, not to uh, cause, not to destroy. And act right means every action that you take, you will be answerable to whatever you do. So whatever you do, you must do it right so that at the end of the day, we, we shall praise you. We shall say you have done well. And at, we will not say you have destroyed things or you have caused problems. For that matter, you will be held responsible. Write right as students. You have to write good things in your notebook. In exams, you have to write well so that you pass your exams. We have newspapers. We want them to write things that will build the nation, that will bring positivity and possibilities. We don't want to write things that will create mayhem, destruction, and that will cause confusion and war. That is all that we are saying about right, right to. So last time I wrote one of them. You, you, you read the book? I, I brought one here. That's what you're yeah, trying to do. Page 32. Page 32. Oh, I see. Page 32. Let me, let, let me quickly go there. Yes, I know what is page Okay. Yes, I'm there already. Say, please, when you say silence as a weapon of safety, what does it mean? Yes. There are so many things that may come to your mind, as I said, but it's not everything that you have to say. Silence sometimes is golden. For example, you are in the house with your mother. Your mother don't have to insult you, but if he insults you, must you insult her back? So at that time, you have to keep silent. You understand? So it's a weapon. They will see that you are a very respectful child. It's even in the Bible that a child who 
remain silent is considered as a wise or a respected person than the one who try to talk and you know cause problems there are certain things you don't have fact about you didn't see the person but you are being asked you don't have to say you saw the person you can remain silent there was a time arm robbers came to somebody's house and the arm robber was trying to rob them taking their properties and if you know the arm robber must you mention his name at that time so you have to remain hot silent if your utterances will put you into prison do you have to say that thing so you have to remain silent there are so many things that must cause you to remain silent that is why we are encouraging this book to everyone though it's watch your tank educational handouts and everybody must have a copy there are numerous things we have written if your words will ruin the nation the nation in which you are living if your words will ruin the nation if your words will cause somebody to cause suicide to kill himself do you have to say it so this is some of the things that we have put in the book that silent is golden and it's a weapon to save your life. Said please by a police officer. Yes. So why do you want to engage in the peace camp? Oh, police, our duty is to protect life and property, to make sure there is peace. So I will say that it is part of my job. That is why I'm preaching peace. Sir, please. what are your last comments that you give to the viewers watching? Viewers. Your words will create your world for you. So whatever you are using, whether the words you speak, the words you act, the words you write, you have to process them so that you live in peace. This year, 2020, we are having elections. We urge everyone to help maintain the peace that Ghana is enjoying. All that I can say that, don't forget about the four operational concepts of Watch Your Tank. Think right. Let your thought be result and solution oriented. Speak right. Speak things that can build, not to destroy. Act right. Let us praise your actions. Let your actions be right. And write right. Whatever you write should build and save the nation from mayhem. Sir, thank you for coming to the show and thank making you. it nice. God bless you. Sir, please, your test today is Sing and National Anthem. Mm, national Anthem, wow. I don't remember that last time. I, I, we used to sing it, but you know, sometimes we may forget some lines. What? Let's do it. God bless our homeland, Ghana, and make our nation great and strong. Bow to defend forever the cause of freedom and of right. Fill our hearts with true humility. Make us fearless, fearless honesty. And help us to raise this oppressor to be for our hearts and mind forevermore. And help us to raise this oppressor to be for our hearts and by forevermore. I've tried, I've tried, I did it. Thank you lovely viewers for watching this segment. And today I had a discussion with Officer Daniel Pesci Apia. He is a police officer, a musician, and the founder of Workshop Tank. And he is also a motivational speaker. The topic we discussed was the role of children to help in maintaining peace in the community and wherever they find themselves. So I am Sylvia Yaka. See you next week. This generation, we are inside. Thank you for watching this generation television show on GNTV Junior and on Glory Thank you to our producers and to me and all the viewers and children watching us out there. And also our director. See you next week. Bye-bye.